Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan, uh, back with another video for you. It's going to be a busy day today. I've got quite a few videos to upload and get through. Um, basically, uh, it's running beside me now and I've got it running Vantage, but this video is on the HIS 6870. It's just a single card review. If you want to see a Crossfire review, go to my channel. I will add that there's no adverts there. So yeah, go to the channel, have a look at the Crossfire video that I've already done with a pair of 6870s. Uh, but yeah, HIS. Um, I'm a big fan of HIS actually. I actually personally use HIS in my personal rig. Um, although this is just a reference card, so do you know what I mean? Essentially it's just the uh, AMD reference design and the reference cooler and it's just got a sticker on it. But it's all good. Uh, 900 megahertz in the core. Um, 1050 on uh, the memory, gigabyte GDDR5 um, that supports uh, up to three displays with iFinity and you don't need the special powered adapters or anything like that with these anymore um, and also something that I found quite interesting I'm really looking forward to uh, testing this obviously not in this video but at a later date because I need to get a monitor but um, uh, 3D technology has appeared on these as well, so it looks like we're going to be able to have some 3D gaming uh, with the OTI card, so uh, I'm really quite excited about that. But what I'm going to do, because as I said I've got the card by the side of me here at the moment, uh, I'm going to cut straight in and uh, give you some up close shots of this and a 6850 which I will be covering in another video. Um, but I'll give you uh, some close-up shots of earlier on when I had them in the night tent. Here we go, peeps. Six eight seventy and the six eight fifty. This is just to give you a, a good close-up look round while I'm taking pictures. Obviously, in the light tent makes it a lot easier. I thought seeing them side by side might be better for you. The HIS 6850's got a uh, blue PCB and the 870's got the uh, black one. I'm trying to do this all with one hand because my light tent's actually quite big and I have to put it on the floor so it's a pain for me to be able to get the tripod in here ok then peeps just to show you a quick look at the 6870 undressed So that's the PCB with it all unbuttoned. We go up, you can see the actual guts of the cooler itself. And that really is the the heat sink. And then the fan at the end. And then the shroud to direct all the air around. Now the good thing about this shroud, if I put it up here so we can see a bit better. So that's the only way for the hot air to escape into the case. But normally at this part of the back of your case you'd have um, grills anyway for the heat to go out. So at least it, there's no way for it to exhaust any heat into the case itself. And it is primarily directed out the back. Which is always a good thing for keeping, in, you know, your case temperatures down. HIS single card six eight seventy. Um, the six eight seventy is a little crackers. Uh, they're going to come in about one hundred and ninety nine pounds or two hundred and forty nine dollars, depending on where you are. Now. The uh, Vantage scores are about 17,500-ish. Um, and, yeah, it was, I was a little bit disappointed with that, to be quite honest with you. But mainly because, I think it's because all of us 
we were expecting the 687T to be the 5870 replacement, which obviously it's not. This is actually just a replacement for the 5770 or the 5830. Um, so a bit of a confusing one. Uh, the 6900 cards will be out later. We're thinking it's going to be around November time. No confirmed date yet though, but a bit of a thumbs down really for AMD or ATI doing the the number shuffle because I think there's going to be a lot of confused people out there because even I kind of screwed my face up and didn't know what was going on. But anyway, the reference 6870, uh, it's actually quite a surprising little car for 200 quid uh, because the the crisis gameplay anyway is brilliant. Um, Metro, it's doing fairly well as well. Um, in uh, Mafia, it was great. As you'll see in, all, in the reviews, it's it really is a little corker of a card. Now, this is you know stuff you know is showing what is to come, and we could be in for a very interesting couple of months in the graphics card um, market. But they are basically, even though I've said this in the other reviews. And it's quite difficult for me when I make lots of use, uh, reviews straight after one another because I, <laughs> I think I've already said it, but I've actually said it in another review. But basically what they've done is it's, uh, they've shrunk the, um, the cores down a bit, uh, not with the um, nanometers, but just it's actually on less silicon. So, do you know what I mean? They've not shrunk the dye process, but it, you know what I mean? It's basically taken up this room, but we won't go into that. So, it's, it, the cores are slightly different, but essentially, do you know what I mean? There's not a massive amount in it, um, but they are more uh, efficient and uh, they're definitely more overclock friendly because these are running at like 900 core um, and the HIS. Basically, you can go into CCC and you can just go. It, you can go up to a thousand core and it, you can just move that across you can take the memory and move that right the way across the maximum as well which is over 1100 on the memory I think it's something like 1170 or something or nearly 1200 I can't remember but you can literally just go in and move them right up to max and it's completely stable do you know what I mean? no overvolting, nothing absolutely amazing now you're all going to want to know um, you're probably not even that fussed about Vantage but what I'm going to do is we'll cut to the end of Vantage now so you can see the scores and um, we will then go straight into some Crisis gameplay and some Metro gameplay. Now you've got to remember that Metro is pretty much an NVIDIA game. Do you know what I mean? It loves NVIDIA, it loves PhysX, uh, but we're going to be doing it on these ATI cards just to show you. And I don't care how many of you moan going to be playing Crisis on the game settings. Right then peeps, just a quick one just to show you. This is with the card overclocked to 1000 core and 1100 memory. Uh, as you can see there that's 18.8 thousand 3D marks. That's just over 17,000 for the GPU and it's reading the graphics, uh, the CPU, even though it's at 4 gigahertz, it's only reading it at 25,000. Now I'm not 100% sure what the what's going on with that really because it should be a lot more than that with a 4 gigahertz overclock. Um, might just be a bug with the uh, new ATI drivers or something. Not entirely sure, but that's the results we got anyway. Right then, guys, this is with it in gamer mode. Don't forget this is a single card as well.
So yeah, look at those frames per second for a single card in the 50s. Right guys, this is on Enthusiast, but I've got no ammo left. Steven's gun, where's it gone? All this playing the crisis, I'm getting a little bit better. Not that much better. Yeah, run out of bullets. I ain't got any bullets in that one either. Right, that's it, more out of ammo. Gonna get third. Right then guys, onto a short section of Metro. As you can see the frames per second are 30 frames per second again. So you can't really complain at this gameplay, can you? 30 frames a second, it's definitely playable. It's not acting like a comic. All this for the sort of performance that we were expecting on the 5870 before, for argument's sake. Back to the normal bit where you get thrown off and then they all run past you. But anyway, you get the ideas, guys. So then, guys, 6870. Um, final thoughts, <coughs> closing thoughts. Not quite what we were expecting. Um, because obviously we didn't realise there was going to be 6900s, there were rumours but we didn't know, it's obviously do not mean it's official now, this is the 5770, 5830 replacement, uh, it's coming in around the same sort of money at £200, um, but my honest thoughts on these cards, in game, brilliant, do you know what I mean, just doesn't seem to work out that way on the benchmarks. Uh, maybe uh, more mature drivers because we're still using beta catalyst 10.10s at the moment um, so maybe more mature drivers and stuff later on at the end of the day with ATI especially with the drivers things only get better uh, and it's definitely not a bad card even now um, so if this is a sign of things to come I think we're going to have a great few months on the run up to Christmas 
So, absolute corker. Tony Tom Logan out. <laughs>